Hey guys, it's Long Tom Girlie. I'm back again for another video. Um, thank you so much for all the comments on that last video. Um, it was a new experience um, video on this iPad. A couple of you said to turn it this way, so I'm going to try it this way and see if it works horizontal. I'm hoping it doesn't come up vertical, but put over its side so you will have to be like, what? So I'm hoping this works this way. Um, but yes, thank you so much for the comments. Um, I've now got 300 subscribers, but I'll do a whole other new video for that because I'll just ramble on about that. Um, I forgot to show you a couple of things in my last video on what I got for Christmas and my birthday. Um, so I'll just quickly show them that I'm not going to make big fuss. It's just um, I got a couple of DVDs. I got The Great American Bash 2005. Yes, with lovely Tori Wilson on the cover. So I got that. Um, for Christmas and then for my birthday my dad got me No Way Out 2005 and Backlash 2005 so I got three from 2005 so that's great I can't watch, wait to watch those and then my friend John gave me The Rise and Fall of WCW no I, I never watched WCW I was never Joe I wasn't in that time frame and I haven't went back to try and watch it yet so it'll be good to see W C W. I've read a wee bit about it, Joe and Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart's biographies and stuff, but um, I want to see what it was like, so it's be a good one. Um, I also got W W E twelve on Xbox, but I don't have Xbox Live for anyone asking. Um, my brother does, but um, he sort of stole my Xbox, so I'm waiting till I get my own Xbox, and now I'll get Xbox Live. And then the last thing I forgot to show you, I just remembered after. I filmed. Um, Chris came up um, last week for my birthday and he bought me um, tickets to go see Mick Foley when he comes over here in Belfast in March. Just before WrestleMania. So we're going to be all wrestled out pretty much because then we're going to the revenge tour, the Smackdown revenge tour, um, like three days after we come back from Orlando. So it's gonna be like, so um, Chris got us ringside, so I'm so excited about that. But yes, yeah, sorry, I forgot to show you guys um those. Um, in the last video there, um, some people are saying Joe giving me ideas for videos, and I actually forgot. In November, um, a guy I know called Chris, Chris Fent, who's on here, and that's a nice big shout out for you. He does, um, he has wrestling a uh, rare wrestling podcast called Wrestle Shock and he also has Retro Shock 316 on Twitter if you follow him on that and M O T U Chronicles. <laughs> I've just thought here on my Twitter on my screen. Um so definitely go check him out. Um he's got some podcasts. So I definitely follow those if you're into gaming and then there's the wrestling one. Um so definitely go check him out. And in November he'd give me I was looking for video ideas and he'd give me a list. So I actually just found the list that I wrote out on the plane <laughs> on the way over to Edinburgh when I was going over there. So um, he gave me a few things, so I'm just going to go through them. And if I need to take another video, I'll take another video. Um, I'll go for, let's see, I've got a couple here. Um, I'll go for this one. Um, I'll go for my top five divas versus this one, questions. Um, my top five divas... Um, would have to be, well, number one would be Mickey James because um, I absolutely adore Mickey James. Um, she was my favourite throughout my whole time when I watched WWE, when she was in WWE. She continues to be my favourite in TNA, even though I don't watch TNA that much. If I had to, Mickey James would probably be the one I'd watch it for. I absolutely adore Mickey James. I just thought she was different than all the other divas. Um, she just had this um or about her <laughs> if that's what you want to call it um if she wasn't afraid of getting in with the guys and stuff and she wasn't afraid of the weight issues or any of that so um she really drew me into the diva aspect of the sport and um, that's why she's my number one <laughs> um my number two would be trish stratus i can't leave her off my list she is amazing um seven times women's champion like how can you beat that um i love um, my number three is Lita, so I'm gonna put those two together. Lita and Trish, just their wrestling was absolutely awesome. Like their whole against Christian, Chris Jericho, and then Lita with the Hardys, and 
Trish just um, going from that bad girl to that good girl and then a retirement match and just she continues to amaze me even when she's coming back now like a couple of, was it like a year or something ago she came back and wrestled and then Wrestlemania last year she wrestled so I think it's just amazing of the stuff she's doing so um, definitely Trish and Lita Lita is just my high flying diva <laughs> she's my um, I love high flyers um, I love what they do so seeing Lita flying off all those ring posts and doing all the high risky moves is just amazing I love it number four would be um, Victoria slash Tara. I met her like in 2007. You just go and makes me feel really old. And she was just so nice and I really like what she's doing at the moment. I think she's, she really is a really good wrestler. Um, I, I was annoyed at her retirement match in WWE. I think it could have been done better. I think they didn't really use her properly. They could have done a lot more of her than just have her as the goofy one. Do I loved during the Halloween contest because she did have that funny side, but like they didn't really need to bring that into matches. I think she was a really good wrestler and that she deserved a lot more than what she got. Um. So and I I love watching her in TNA as well. She'd be my second favorite after Mickey James in TNA because because I have a real soft spot for Mickey James. That's why she's my number one. But Tara definitely Victoria is brill. I love what she's doing with the tag teams, um, titles and stuff over there. So it's really good. Um, my fifth one would have to be Daphne. She was in TNA. I don't think she she's not no longer in TNA, but she was just crazy, <laughs> and that's why I loved her so much. Like going into monster ball matches and taking massive bumps, like she was absolutely adrenaline junkie. <laughs> she's absolutely amazing. Um, maybe not one of the best wrestlers, but she definitely did um make me want to watch every week, which is one of the reasons she is on my list Joe, if I won't watch something if someone doesn't make me want to watch it if I sat and watch a Divas match and I was like oh this is boring then I'll just turn over but with Daphne that never happened because you never knew what was going to happen so yeah she's my number five um best wrestling games I'll do this quickly because there's only three in my list um Smackdown vs Raw 2011 continues to be my favourite wrestling game because of the being able to walk around backstage, the easy controls, the road to WrestleMania modes, the matches and the graphics. Um, that has been my number one. WWE 12, I'm still getting used to. I played it for the first time a couple of weeks ago. And the controls are really, really annoying me. Um, because I've been so used to my SmackDown vs Raw 2011 controls. And these ones seem really hard and different and I, I keep getting KO'd and I'm like I don't know what to do because all these controls are different and I have no clue how to use them so it's annoying me a wee bit that I still like that you can walk around um I think you can I had I'm not even sure but um I haven't played it that much because I'm still trying to get my head around these controls before I throw the controller across the room um so it's my number two but I'm mm, I'll have to get used to it. Um, and then my third favourite is Smackdown vs Raw 2006 mainly because you could decorate your locker room and um, because some of the storylines were quite good in that one and I did quite enjoy that one so it's my third one. Um, let's see top five tag teams. Go go fly on three days that we met. Alright we'll go from five down because I've been doing one up and that's not really cool. <laughs> so go. So my number five is Air Boom. Um, I love Air Boom. Um, I'm so sad that they lost the tag team titles there in a house show. Like, they don't really know. To Epico and Primo. Uh, Epico? Epico and Primo. Oh, uh, so annoyed when I saw that. Um, but yes, they're my number five because they're both high flyers and because I adore Kofi Kingston and Evan Bourne. I think they work so well together as a team and I can't wait to see um, what they bring if they stay together. Um, number four is the Road Warriors. Um, I remember watching them when I was watching all the old WrestleManias and old Royal Rumbles and stuff, and they're awesome. Um, they're just one of my old time <laughs> tag team guilty pleasures. I love watching them, um, and they were pretty cool. Number three is Ian C. Edge and Christian. I absolutely love them. I love watching. I watched the ladder match DVD, and I can't get over how much risks they take just sort of like the Hardy Boys but um I don't really like the Hardy Boys um ANC definitely and the the Kazoos 
and the and the glasses and the five minute poses and they work so well. I absolutely love them. I oh I can't say any more about them. Can't really explain any and say they're just awesome. Um number two, Heart Foundation, not Heart Dynasty. The Heart Foundation, the old time Heart Foundation. Um, Bret Hart, Owen Hart, Jim Nye Hart, those ones. I absolutely love them. The belt signed by Bret Hart and Jim and Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy Nightheart. No, Jimmy Knife is Heart. Yes, those ones. Um, I love the Heart Foundation when I was watching my old ones. I actually have their um, double pack DVD, which I'm watching soon. Um, and I, I love them. I just, you, 